me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my, me and my, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my, me and my kicks. What is going on YouTube? It's your favorite YouTuber, me and my kicks. And this is my vlog of the Michigan Sneaker Exchange located in Detroit, Michigan at the Cabo Center, man. Stay tuned. As always, I wanna thank you guys for watching this video today. I really do appreciate it. Smash that like button if you like this video. Also comment down below what's the best shoe you've seen in this video. If you've ever been to Michigan Sneaker Exchange before or if you've ever been to Detroit, Michigan, comment that down below and we can chop it up in the comment section. Also, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button, it takes nothing but a couple seconds, and you'll be notified of when I drop future videos. Now enough talking, let's get into this vlog. Got the Red Octobers in hand, man. He's selling these for 3100 These like a good six, seven out of 10. DS, these shoes go for like 20, 30,000, man. It's crazy. But in hand, definitely some great quality on this shoe. Got the off-white Volt Air Force Ones. In hand, these pretty decent. I, I like the blue ones that came out recently better, but these not too bad. Look like these worn um, probably like eight, nine out of 10. Nice quality. Got the off-white Prestos. He also got the Oregon Fives. Man, this man getting too much money. Got that little uh, Oregon duck on the back, pretty decent. Got the Fleet Market Vapor Max in hand. These is too crazy. They, it was some samples that like lit up. Like when you put it, when you plugged it in, like these shoes lit up and they gave like the regular, the regular shoe to us. But if I could get, if I get that shoe that lit up, man, I would definitely get this shoe. This is definitely a great shoe. I'm about to say, as far as like resale goes, this going into like the $800,000, man. And like retail on these is 250. These are super duper limited. And I wanted these in my collection, but it was a no-go on the sneakers app. They got a booth, they got all the exclusive pops. Crazy, crazy flavors from like overseas and stuff like that, man. They going crazy. I never even seen a vanilla cream Canada Drive. They going crazy. Cream Soda Crush, that, that probably tastes too good. Pepsi Blue with the blue raspberry, oh man, they going crazy. Got the Fear of God, orange joints in hand. I like this like two-tone orange thing they got going on. Like the bottom is like a translucent orange and the top is like a lighter orange. Like these go these go crazy with just some light blue jeans. These go real nice. Resale on this like eight to like probably like five, eight hundred. Not bad. And that, and that box, they go perfect with it. It's like, it's crazy. Got the bread Yeezys in hand. Crazy shoe. It's crazy. Like I guess it's the lighting because like when I'm looking at the shoe now, it look like it's all one color, but if you look at it in different light, it's like a different upper black as opposed to the bottom. It's crazy. Got the black and royal Supreme 14s in hand. The quality not bad. It's, I don't know why they charge a 250 or 248 for this shoe, but I guess I guess just because of that Supreme name, but got the Supreme right there. What's, what is it on the back? 23, Supreme. Not a bad shoe, but I just I just couldn't have I just couldn't pay the 250 for it honestly man. Got the Nike Dunks that just dropped on uh 420. The Dog Walkers, it's pretty decent man. Got the little dog tag on the back. Got the, the this suede on here is crazy. And also they got like a little pony hair right here as well. It's pretty good too. And then they also got a little doggy bag. They went all out on this shoe. This is a rare Asics right here. 49 out of 50 made. Uh, apparently they was made over in Italy and like the artist drew on them. The quality of the leather pretty decent, but I'm sure this probably go for a lot of money, man. It's crazy.
got the reverse Ferraris or the yellow Ferraris in hand. And a lot of people really going crazy about this leather. In hand, the leather looks pretty decent. I mean, it's not the best leather, but I mean, I've seen Jordan give us way worse leather. I'm definitely getting me a pair of these though. Definitely clean in hand. Got the white and black Supreme 14s in hand. And the, the quality is nice. I like the black and, and royal blue ones better. And as far as like pricing goes, I wouldn't pay 250 for these, but eh, I mean, I mean, if you like them, get them for the 250. Sorry for the music in the background. Got the you know, Steph Curry MVP one lows in hand. I got these DS in my class. I still haven't worn these yet, but you rarely see these at like sneaker conventions, man. People sleep on the Currys, but these is definitely a great shoe. Just a nice white and gold clean color. They got the broken bat Bo Jackson's in hand, man. This is crazy. She got the Bo Jackson video game character. When these released on Sneakers app, this was extra, extra rare. I wish I could have got them, but I missed out on them, man. Definitely a great shoe. This place got everything, man. They got the Lee Ning Way of Ways. They got the 3.0s. I forgot the number of those. They got these. They going crazy. They got some more over here. These are Kevin Hart trainers that came out a couple years ago. I never really seen these in hand, but definitely a nice shoe. And definitely like inspire people to keep working out more, man. Cause you know, a lot of people need to, you know, just get into the gym more. I know I do, I know I need to get back myself. Here go those recent uh, Converse basketball shoes that dropped. I haven't hooped in them. And I, these don't look like shoes that I would wear to hoop. But, I mean, if you want to hoop in Converse again, they, they're trying to make shoes for you. Like, if you want to hoop in them in 2018, rock these shoes. They go to Soul Palace, Gina, Jordan 1. And hand got a nice little shimmer to it. And this is a box that it came in. It came in a uh, lunch box. It's pretty decent. As you can see, got the sizing on there and everything. I know these sell, resell them for a little bit of money, but me personally, since I'm not a fan of ones, I wouldn't get these, but if you like them, man, definitely get these. Over here seeing these custom 10s. It's a nice little gradient color from the red down to the yellow. Pretty nice shoe in here, man. I really messed with it. And then he did the little lace swap. Really, really sets off the shoe. And they also doing on-site uh, cleanings for your shoe. If you got any shoe that's dirty, come on through and clean them for you, man. Go ahead and hit them up if you're in Detroit. Got the baby blue off-white Air Force Ones in hand. He's pretty nice, man. I'm surprised. I'm mad they're so limited. I think they're going to restock eventually down the line, but when they came out, they was just like extra limited, man. I ain't never seen an all light blue Air Force One in a minute since like the 90s, to early 2000s. Got the uh, Jordan 7 DMP pack, the Magic, and the Raptors. When these came out, these were 300. I had this pack, and I ended up selling it, man, because I wasn't really a big fan of 7s like that. They got the 13s and 280. And the size 13 to 300, man. Got the undefeated Ultra Boost. And hand, these pretty nice. I know they come with extra laces. That's a pretty nice touch. These definitely a great 4th of July shoe, man. These definitely will pop off the feet for 4th of July. One side got the uh, blue undefeated sign, and the other side got the red. Overall, man, this is definitely a clean shoe. I forgot the exact cause Nike made these for, but these real nice. These are the flat leather uh, Blazer Lows. I like this uh, graphic on the side. Crazy. Got that blue bottom. Got the John Elliott, uh, LeBron, all black joints. And hand, these pretty decent. Not worth 250, but if I can catch these on sale, these definitely nice. I like this uh, leather on the inside. It's definitely real cushy. Got that translucent black outsole, man. It's pretty clean. All right, guys, that is the end of the vlog. What did you guys think? Comment down below what's the best shoe you've seen in this video. If you've ever been to Michigan Sneaker Exchange or if you've ever been to Detroit, Michigan before, comment that down below and we can chop it up in the comment section. Also, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up as well. I really appreciate it. 
and if you aren't subscribed to the channel what are you doing man hit that subscribe button takes nothing but a couple seconds and you'll be notified of when i drop future videos overall my thoughts of the event it was it was an okay event i thought that there could have been a little bit more attendance because it was maybe like 100 150 people in there like buying stuff or walking around and like that venue could have held at least like 300 400 people so i mean as far as that goes it could have been more people and i was really looking for a couple of bigger youtubers like connor tv i know he's from the uh, michigan area i didn't really see him Jumpman bostic i didn't see him and that was kind of disappointing because i wanted to like you know just chop it up with him and say what's up but i was able to run into a couple smaller youtubers in the michigan area like pain 82 shout out to you you got wolf 313 shout out to you this is my first time meeting him uh, we featured each other in each other's vlog so shout out to you once again jb collectible kicks he was there so shout out to you jb collectible kicks keep doing your thing um Marin tv he wasn't there but shout out to you as well and 313 retro queen where were you at man i definitely wanted to chop it up with you as well but i didn't see you at the event you probably had something you had to do so it's all good but also a small little gem from the event is like what really gives me hope is like far as these sneakers exchanges go as opposed to shopping on gold or StockX things like that my friend Crystal she's been in a couple videos with me she went with me to this event as well and she really wanted the uh, Fruity Pebble phones uh, she been hunting for this shoe for a minute and she kind of like me she don't really pay over retail I don't really pay over retail for shoes like if I can't get it for retail I'm not going but basically like she been looking for this shoe for a long, long time. And one of the vendors had this shoe DS at the event. And like, you know, she was asking them like, what's the price that they were charging? And they was only charging 200 bucks. And if you go on like StockX, that shoe go for like 325. Go, it go for like around that price. And also the retail price of that shoe was $180. So they basically charging retail for a DS pair of Fruity Pebble foams. So long story short, you know, I was talking to the vendor and you know we chopped it up blah 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 and she was able to get the shoe for 180 dollars so you know she saved like over 100 dollars during this deal because she got those shoes ds for 180 bucks went on StockX or goat they charged them like 325 so that was a big come up and you can't really get that type of steel on StockX or gold anymore you got to get that type of deal having those personal face-to-face -face interactions and i definitely appreciate the vendor for letting us get that phone for that steel and after that transaction i thought it was going to be christmas in june because he had a ds pair of broken bats i put it in my vlog and he had those shoes like i couldn't really see the price but since like she got the shoes for 180 like you know just to get those shoes for retail at a steal i thought he was going to be at a nice price like maybe 250 300 i saw the price on those shoes for 400 i had to go ahead and leave the vendor man because i was so hoping that those shoes was like 250 300 250 300 i'd have paid that price like i rarely go over retail but for for ds broken bat bo jackson's i had to go ahead and do it but anyways i want to talk you guys ears off thank you guys for watching the video and lastly peace